hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to remove grid lines in adobe acrobat let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe acrobat i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Removing grid lines here in Adobe Acrobat is a simple process. You have to remember that grid lines sometimes make clutter the view, especially for users who just want to read or review the document. If you're using the Adobe Acrobat on the web uh, website or the uh, online version, you're not going to be able to remove the grid lines here. Instead, I want you to switch to the Adobe Acrobat application because here you can access the settings in the left side panel of your dashboard go to the menu i need you to hover to the view section all right now all you're gonna do is go to the option that says show hide you see you should be able to check the rulers and grids all right and just remove that okay again go to the view and if you want to show and hide the side panels you might want to Check all these uh, assistant, articles, attachments, bookmarks, um, summary, layers, pages, and reset panes. All right. And again, if you want to bring back the rulers and grids, all you have to do is press the control plus S or line weights. Now, this is particularly important if you are presenting or printing a document. Grid lines can be distracting, particularly in final versions of the documents. All right. That should only be display the content itself. I find it that grid lines can appear in printed versions of the document even though they are not part of the document itself. So if you plan to print, it's a good idea to remove them, avoid unwanted lines on the paper. For example, you click the print button here, all right? You want to make sure that the grid has been removed, right? Especially if you're preparing for a document for final review, you want to make sure that the uh, digital signature grid lines may inter interfere with uh, layout adjustments or signatures making the document look unprofessional or, or cluttered. So removing red lines can make it easier to focus on the content that needs redaction or final formatting. Some users um, prefer a minimalist workspace when working with PDFs. So if grid lines are unnecessary for your task, especially if you're annotating or text reading, removing them can make the interface less busy and easier to navigate. You see that? And once you have set that up, all you're going to do is click on print. Now, removing grid lines is especially helpful if you're working with a team because sometimes it's very distracting during collaborative reviews or edits. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.